Hello and welcome to Aksharda Public School Digital Library. Today, we are going to learn about the remaining parts of speech. So let's begin. So, children, we are learning to understand that there are eight main parts of speech in English language. To learn about each of them, to be able to use all of them on daily basis. So let's start. All words in English language belong to a word class called parts of speech. There are eight main parts of speech. They are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Children, in today's class, we are going to learn about adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. So let's begin with adverb. An adverb describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Let's look at a few examples here. Always, never, slowly, quickly, strongly, angrily, now, later, almost. So these are the words that mostly come along with the main verb in a sentence or also with an adjective. Let's look at an example to understand this better. The nurse rushed into the word hastily. In this sentence, hastily is an adverb. So in this way, we use adverb in most of the situation that are having some or the other action. Now let's move to another part of speech that is preposition. A preposition combines with a noun or a pronoun to form a phrase that tells something about another word in a sentence. Let's look at the examples here. These are few words that let us know what kind of words are preposition. Aboard, over, above, under, below, down, near, in front of, behind. So these words most commonly stand as preposition in sentences wherever in whatever situation the noun or pronoun need them. Let's look at an example to understand this better. A group of people were passing over the bridge. In this sentence, over is the preposition. In this way, we use preposition that help us understand the position of the noun or the pronoun. Now let's look at the next part of speech that is conjunction. A conjunction joins together single words or group of words in a sentence. Let's look at these words here. And, but, because, or, nor, neither, since, unless, though, yet. To understand this part of speech better, look at the sentence here. We reached home and had dinner together. In this sentence, and is a conjunction. In this way, conjunctions always help us join two sentences together to give it a correct meaning. Let's look at the last part of speech that is interjections. An interjection expresses a strong feeling or emotion. It can be a single word or a phrase. Let's look at few words here. Uh-oh. Oh. Hey. Ouch. Wow. Yay. Help. Wow. Hooray. So these are the words 
mostly that are used along with exclamation that give a lot of meaning or expression or give us the information about some kind of strong feeling in a sentence. Let's understand this better with this example. Oh, it is so interesting. So in this sentence, O oh, will be the interjection. That's all for today, children. Thank you.